Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's episode on Nog Inc. where I introduce you to the great Galley Messias with my lovely friends that I love to play this game with. Who knows what we're going to get into next week. There's a lot of videos coming up, a lot of special events coming up, and we are almost at 100 subscribers, which I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. I'll get a presentation. Yes. I beat up anybody who targets GV trikes. Shut the it, herd Tom's was boring. alert, for it was dark outside, and the moonlight reflects against one wreck's eye. A dry hole sounds the alarm, alerting the others, then ran back to his nest to be with his mother and brothers. A shant pipes up. There's nothing to fear. He'll be sorry oh, if he comes anywhere you. near. The shant further boasts. It is only the one. I'll give him a smack and a stomp, and then he'll be done. The herd realized he'd spoke too soon, for the Rex was accompanied by three full-grown spoons. <laughs> Panic erupted with bellows and wails. The stegos stood their ground with spiked swinging tails. The dibbles, raising their head towards the sky, cried aloud in dismay. We're all going to die! The ferocious carnivores snapped at the air with their jaws, tearing up mounds of earth with their razor-sharp claws. One trike shouts out, Hold your ground! With its unmistakable grunting sound. Without warning, yet with precision and ease, the Rex broke a shant's leg with the mighty grip of its teeth. The shant belted out a groan, and squinting its eye, swung its head at the Rex, leaving a deep gash on its thigh. Then broke the chaos. A sound from above, like the sound of a chihuahua, an old woman screaming mixed with a dove. The sound so alarming, a packy screamed, Someone save us! Then, lo and behold, appeared in the clouds, the great Galamasias. The glory of his countenance was as bright as the sun. He illuminated the heavens and every one. The battle ceased, and all dino jaws dropped. Silence! Twas so quiet it seemed even time itself stopped. His eyes burned with fire, his heart filled with love and great rage. Then his face briefly straightened, then he farted incense and sage. Then broke the silence his heavenly voice, addressing the sharp tooths and mercifully gave them a choice. Now see here, you ridiculous beasts, with your soggy cotton bottoms and those outrageous teeth. You leave these poor creatures alone that they might feast upon the shrubberies and the grasses. Or cross me, and I'll be forced to kick all your asses. The Rex and three spinos raised their heads and retorted, Any interference from you, Galley, and we'll have you reported. Besides, you're just a pathetic Gallimimus. Do you really believe that you'll best all of us? We will crush you and turn your bones into powder. Then with them make a nice galley chowder. The Gallimimus, not moved by their rants, snapped his fingers, turning them all into plants. Oh no. The herd, now rejoicing, avenged of their foes, fell to their knees and kissed their galley god's toes. All in agreement, he said. Say one now. They all did as he asked, then they again bowed down to the ground. A theory right out, in defiance called for. The Galamasias quickly turned to her and said, Shut up, you whore. Sir, piped a diddle, all cute and coy. Would you please bless my baby boy? Of 
course, squawked the galley. What do I look like to you, your common Utah raptor or pew? I'm a god, and that's exactly what galley gods do. Now, come gather round this rock here that I have picked out, and there shall I bless thee without a doubt. The small baby divil climbed upon that rock, then circles round baby the galley did walk. The gal messiahs paused for a while, then opened his mouth and said with a smile, Here, here, in time of old, out from the aspen's trunk came mold, one among you cherished by the ground, this little one here all fat and round. A seed greets soil, how do you do? Fate greets a dibble. Poozy woo From that seed sprouts the dibbly wibbly willow tree. It is in fact how the very first dibbles came to be. From here on forth your name shall be known as Castle Wazzle Daffle has. And that is the epic of the great and powerful Gellama size. The end. Bravo, bravo. That was awesome. <laughs>